Sometimes it is not always possible to completely machine a mould 100% by milling. Especially in areas where we have long, deep, thin slots. These are more effectively reproduced by burning with or spark eroding with an electrode. Powermill has the optional functionality of automatically creating electrodes for us. This functionality is accessed from the main toolbar at the top of Powermill. This takes us, by clicking on this icon, this takes us into the electrode wizard. The first page of this wizard is where we specify the actual region that we want to extract as an electrode. This burn region is identified by simply clicking in the area and the electrode wizard will flood fill out from this area until it reaches a position of convex corner. This is usually an indication of the extent of the burn region. If this gives us the incorrect result, then there are many tools on the front page of the wizard which allow us to add to or remove from the burn region or edit the burn region. The second page of the wizard is where we add any extension surfaces to this burn region and any draft angle we want. We have a preview functionality to make sure we're happy before we move on to the third stage. This is where we generate the overall size and shape of the block that we're going to use to create the electrode. And the fourth page we specify the holder. Now it's important to specify the holder uh, to make sure that there are no collisions between the holder and the part. If there are collisions which could potentially scrap the mould, the electrode wizard will automatically highlight those regions for us and inform us of the collisions. Moving on to the next page of the wizard is where we define information that will go on the setup sheets. The final page is our export options where we export for PowerMill or for other software including generating job files and script files for Agi and Charmeal spark erosion machines. The finished result is a 3D CAD model of our electrode plus two drawings, a GA drawing showing the position of the electrode for spark erosion and a component drawing of the electrode with overall dimensions for the electrode blank. A HTML page is also produced showing the the various areas of the electrodes such as the burn region and the clearance region. This HTML page is visible from the browser window within PowerMill. Once we're happy with the creation from the electrode wizard we go back into the main PowerMill window and there we can see the electrode project which is attached to our main machining project. When we click on the button to open the project from the browser window, the part is imported into PowerMill, the electrode is imported into PowerMill ready for machining. Now depending on the size and shape of the mould there could be many many electrodes that need to be produced. To produce a toolpath for these manually is very time consuming and as many of the electrodes are very simple shapes it, this is ideal for automation. So in this example here we can see that 
The toolpath creation has been automated by using PAM or macros to complete the machine, the part, from roughing through to finishing in one go. Once the toolpaths have been produced, we can check the toolpaths in the viewmill simulation to make sure there are no problems with the toolpaths before we export them as NC programs.